Okay, so Amanda <coughs> posted that um, she's um, having some incontinence during jumping jacks and a couple other ladies had mentioned that they are also feeling that feeling. So <coughs> there's a couple different reasons why this might be happening. Um, so there's one way that you can work. <coughs> Sorry, I've got this annoying cough. <coughs> there's this one thing that you can do without having to go to your pelvic health physio, which I still recommend if you haven't been already, you need to go because everything that I can teach you until they do an internal exam to really know what's going on, you may never get it fixed. So you really have to understand what the root of the problem is, but this one technique that I can give you will hopefully help, okay? So it's called the core and floor connection breath. And what it does is it helps to remind your pelvic floor when to activate. So what happens is a lot of times um, after pregnancy, our, because our pelvic floor is weakened, it forgets when to tighten up and to, and to hold, basically hold the pee in, okay? So what we need to do is we need to remind our pelvic floor when it's supposed to contract so that when we do things on a forced exhale, like a cough, <coughs> Right? It's supposed to lift and contract and other times it'll just relax or when we're having heavy forceful jumps like jumping jacks, etc. It won't be contracting at the right time. So here's what you need to do is when you're on your own, you need to practice this breath and the breath is going to be mentally even just a little bit challenging for a lot of people, especially if you've been lifting weights a lot because you cannot hold your breath when you have a weakened pelvic floor. You need to learn how to exhale and lift the pelvic floor at the same time. So this is how it goes. You take a big deep breath in all the way down into your belly and into your pelvis. And at the same time, you're taking the breath in. You want to relax your pelvic floor. Okay, so I want you to feel like your pelvic floor is relaxing and um, and and there should be no tightness there at all or as little tightness as you could just let it, let it go. Then on the exhale, so you're inhaling, releasing the pelvic floor. On the exhale, I want you to lift your pelvic floor. Okay, I lift it from the bottom and I want you to feel your hip bones come in together slightly and I want you to feel the lower abdominals tighten, okay? That way you know you're engaging and you can't just pick up from the front um, of the, your pelvic floor, so don't just tighten up in the vagina area. I want you to actually tighten up in the vagina, the perineum, and the anus area, okay? Can you please get out of here? I'm talking. Hey mom, I love you. <laughs> love you too, buddy. Okay, so what I want you to remember when you're, so inhale, relaxing the pelvic floor, inhaling, lifting the pelvic floor, bringing those hip bones in slightly together, feeling that tension. When you're lifting on the exhale, I want you to think that you're picking up a bean or a blueberry, something like that, with the front, the middle, and the back of your pelvic floor, okay? So you can't just pick up in the front, you can't just pick up in the middle, and you can't just pick up in the back. You have to pick up from the front to the back. I also don't want you to pick up so tight that you're like, it, like you're getting a workout out of it. It should be a gentle lift. Okay, just it, all we're trying to do is get it to to um, contract at the right time. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a hard squeeze. Then relax. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so inhale, breathe in all the way down into the pelvis. Let that pelvic floor relax. Exhale, lift the pelvic floor. Hip bones come together. Pick up the beans with the front, middle, and back. Okay, relax. So I want you to practice that couple times a day, just when you're sitting around, you got nothing better to do, standing in line at the grocery store, that sort of thing, okay? That will help your pelvic floor try to learn how to contract properly when you're doing things like jumping jacks. But um, when you're doing jumping jacks, and if it's not getting better after you've been doing the breathing for a couple weeks, there could be something else going on. You could have a small prolapse that you don't know anything about, um, which is where your bladder or your bowel or your uterus come down to your, um, they, they just actually descend down into your into your vagina wall or actually into your vagina, okay? So that can cause incontinence. Um, it can also be that um, there could be, so in the prolapse, it could be a, not just enough of a prolapse where your bladder, when you jump, your bladder is banging against the um, wall of your vagina and that, that bumping is actually what's making the pee want to come out. Um, or it could be that you are actually, your pelvic floor is actually too tight. Maybe you've been doing too many Kegels. You know, maybe you have, um, you know, it could actually be that it's too tight and that's what's causing it. So there's so many different things. That, so I really encourage all of you guys, if you're having any issue, to see a book an appointment, go in and see pelvic health physio, okay? It's worth it. If, even if you don't have benefits, it's worth the money because 
if you're having a little bit of issue now, when you hit menopause, girls, it is going to blow your mind and you are just going to experience these issues on a whole nother scale. And again, we don't want to be doing that. We do not want to be wearing diapers when we are 60 years old. Okay. That's not right. So get the shit fixed now, take care of it. But in the meantime, practice the breathing and let me know how it goes. Okay. Um, also, you can use that breathing technique when you're lifting weights, okay? So every rep. So before you exert your force, so before you lift the weight, um, so if you're deadlifting, say you're picking a weight off the floor, something heavy off the floor, you would bend down, grab your weight with your hands, do your inhale, relax the pelvic floor, then on the exhale, you lift the pelvic floor and lift the heavy weight and continue that exhale as you bring it down, okay? So let me know if you have any more questions. We'll go over that. Um, in next live video on Monday, I will actually show you guys how to lift weights using that breath. We'll go through it and you guys can ask as many questions as you want in the group and I'll let you know the answers. Hope that helps. Bye.